Hey friends, it's Anna and Trevor Shoulders with Dreamspace Brokers Realty, realizing your real estate dreams. Today we're celebrating episode one of Mile High Icons, a series of videos we're putting together of iconic places in the Mile High area. We are visiting Kirkland Museum of Fine and Decorative Art, and we'd love you to check it out. We would love to introduce you to the Director of Interpretation, Maya Wright, and she's going to explain a few things about this awesome museum. Welcome to Kirkland Museum of Fine and Decorative Art where we have namesake artist Vance Kirkland's paintings, the work of other Colorado and regional artists, and an international decorative art and design collection. And we show them all in salon style, the way you would in a home. So we have about 4,400 things on view for you to enjoy. We like to say that you can time travel through 150 years of art and design at Kirkland Museum. The design collection has anything that you would have in your home. So decorative art are things that were designed to be used. So we have furniture, rugs, uh, vases, tableware, all sorts of things that you would have in your home. And one of the things that I really love about our collection is that you often find something you have a personal connection to. So there you may come across a, a vacuum cleaner even, or a teapot, something that you have in your own wedding china or that someone in your family once owned. And I think that that makes it a much more approachable experience than some museums where everything's put on a pedestal. One of my favorite things about the museum is that we have Vance Kirkland's historic studio and art school building. And we actually rolled that building, it's a three room brick building built in 1910. We rolled it down the street about a mile from our previous location to Bannock Street in 2016. And his art studio space is still part of the building so you can see where he painted during his lifetime. He invented these wonderful techniques at the end of his career, first mixing oil paint with water, and then later doing these very precise dots with dowels. And to do both of those, he had to have the painting flat on a table. And so he rigged up this contraption that allowed him to be suspending himself right over the part of the canvas that he was working on. And you'll get to see that on your tour today. So he went through five painting periods, beginning with design realism, but eventually switched to surrealism. I like to talk about how he went from painting vistas to looking down at his feet and painting little microcosms of dead wood and rocks and then added fantastical creatures to make it a surrealist work. Wow. And then from there he went into abstraction and oil paint, he transitioned. So then he started painting kind of tree line abstractions and then that's when he invented this oil paint and water technique doing abstract expressionism and later his most famous dot paintings. And most of those are space themed, so that's something we're gonna explore in our temporary exhibition next year, in addition to our permanent collection that you're always able to see here, these uh, vibrant expressions of his view of space. So we're working on a new exhibition opening February 15th called Vance Kirkland's Cosmos. It'll be in our temporary exhibition space and it'll be the first exhibition we've done focusing just on Vance Kirkland's paintings in our temporary gallery. And it will start with his nebula paintings, which don't have dots, and then work into those dot explosion paintings where he did thousands, literally thousands of dots individually placed with a dowel that are his imagined view of the cosmos. So you can plan your visit at kirklandmuseum.org. That's always the best place to find our current hours and pricing. And one important thing to know is that we limit our visitors to ages 13 and up. Um, due to our display style. We would love for you to support the museum through membership and members get free admission all year, discounts in our museum store, advance notice of programming and exhibitions and other exclusive perks. So please support us. And we hope that you take time out of your day to come by and check out this amazing building and all these incredible pieces whenever you get a chance. It really is a true iconic Mile High experience and you have an awesome day. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming by. Thanks. Keep it short. I think, I think. Vance Kirkland was short. Okay. He was, oh my God, he was so, he was cute. so cute. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Did you know that? Vance Kirkland was um, five foot two. Hold on.